by gift or by chance, footstep in each day by the choices I follow. And all He asked you to the prom, didn't he? Come on, tell us. Did he ask you? Well, it wasn't any big deal. Oh, I'm sure it's no big deal. He's just the, the most popular guy in school. Did he ask you, Jolene? Did he? Well, yes, he did. Oh, I knew it, I knew it. Oh, I can just see it all now. Hey, babe. How's about little old you going to the prom with big old me? Oh, I would have just, just died if it had been me. What did you say, Jolene? I would have been so scared and happy, I wouldn't have been able to say anything. Yeah, what'd you say? Well, what did you say? You did say you would go, didn't you? Uh, no, I didn't say I would go. You didn't? Wait a minute, you're putting us on. Oh, there for a minute, I thought you were telling the truth. <laughs> now tell us what you really said. It's true, I didn't say I would go. But I didn't say I wouldn't go either. I told him I'd let him know tomorrow. <laughs> oh, aren't you Miss Cool? I'd be too afraid to tell me to go jump in the lake. To be honest, I'm afraid he might still do the same thing to me. But I didn't know what to say. Jolene, you're crazy. Why didn't you simply tell him you'd go and let it be done? You do want to go with him, don't you? Oh, yes. I really want to go with him. But, well, you know, I'm only 15 and... Only 15? Do you mean to tell me? I don't believe it. I, I just don't believe it. You'll be 16 in a couple of months, won't you? Yes, but, oh, I don't know what to do. Look. Tim's a good member of the church, isn't he? Yes. And it isn't, it isn't like going with him two months before you turn 16 is going to make you unworthy, is it? Well, no, but... But what? Use your head, Jolene. No one is going to be anything but happy for you if you go with Tim. But some of us are, are going to think you're out of your mind if you don't. Use your head. There's nothing wrong with going with Tim. Hi, Jolyn. Hi. On your way home? Oh, I'm working on this great big term paper, and I needed some books they don't have at school. But that will be hard, won't it? 
there just aren't any Jewish girls around here, are there? Well, no, but that doesn't change anything. It isn't like there aren't thousands of them elsewhere in the world. I... I guess it just depends on how bad you want what you want. Have you started to date yet? Oh, well, no. I hope I'm not being too personal. Um, well, do you want to date? Yeah, I guess I do. But since there aren't any Jewish girls around here, except your sisters, who will you date? No one? Surely you wouldn't pass up all the fun of high school, would you? I, I don't know. But, well, I don't understand. You said you wanted to date. Is it your parents won't let you date girls of other religions? No, I, I think they would. I, I also think they'd rather that I didn't. Oh, Aaron, that must be awful. And here I am, just trying to decide whether to date before I'm 16. Maybe it's awful, but... Well? Well, maybe there are some other things that... that, that in the long run, it'd be more awful. Well, I suppose you're right, in a way. But can't you date other girls while you're in high school? It doesn't mean you're going to marry them, does it? I don't know, Joe Lynn. I don't know. It's... It's hard. It's really hard. I don't know what I'll do. But I'm sure of one thing. What's that? Well... What I do... It'll ultimately be decided on... On how badly I want to date now and... And how much I want to be married to a Jewish girl later on. Residence, Heather speaking. Hi, Heather. It's Jolynn. Oh, hi, Jolynn. Hey, I understand you got your big chance with Tim. Yeah, I guess I did. Goodness, you, you certainly don't sound very enthusiastic. Is it true that you haven't told him whether or not you will go? Yeah, well, that's what I called you about. Heather, I don't know what to do. I want to go so bad, and yet I don't know. I think I know what you mean. But sometimes those decisions aren't easy. You wouldn't go, would you, Heather? I know you wouldn't. I just know it. But does two months really matter that much? Oh, why did I call you? Well, say something. Well, what do you want me to say? Oh, I don't know, Heather. Just tell me what I should do. I can't do that, Jolyn. But, well, you are right about what I would do. But why? Is it really that important to you? I know you have turned down some super neat fellows. That's, that's hard to explain. I don't suppose it's the most important thing in the world, except that right now, for me, it is, in a way. It's just simply what I'm supposed to be doing right now. And I'm doing that now so that I can do other things I want to do later. But not everyone who dates before they're 16 has bad marriages. <laughs> of, of course they don't. And not everyone who waits has a good one either. Wouldn't it be nice if it were just that simple? But I know what I want, and I'm going to do everything I can to get it. Well, uh, I guess when it comes to things like this, well, what you do today is, 
is pretty much determined by how important it is to you to achieve the goals you have you've set for tomorrow. Oh, that's what Aaron said. What? But if I decided not to go, what would I tell Tim? No matter what I tell him, he would never ask me out again. Oh, I wish I could tell you that that isn't true. I, I know Tim is a good guy, but who knows what'll happen? That's his problem. And I guess in a way, it's your problem. I, I guess it just depends on how bad you want what you want. Jolene, you're crazy. Why didn't you simply tell him you'd go and let it be done? I guess when it comes to things like this, well, what you do today is, is pretty much determined by how important it is to you to achieve the goals you, you set for tomorrow. Use your head, Jolene. No one is going to be anything but happy for you if you go with Tim. 